the race to the moon wasn't always clean fun. Let's talk about smoking and mission control on the next Vintage Space. Everyone smoked during the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo era of spaceflight. This would include people who worked on the spacecraft, the rockets, people who worked on the small parts, people in mission control, and of course, including the astronauts. A 1952 Gallup poll indicated that 52% of American men smoked cigarettes. Let's start with 1957, where the Mercury 7 had three of the seven astronauts shown smoking cigarettes during the inaugural ceremony announcing the candidacy for the Mercury 7 program. So, until the day of the flight, the astronaut training program will last probably two years. And during this time, our urgent goal is to subject these gentlemen to every stress, each unusual environment. We expect it to be as reliable as any experimental aircraft. Stresses which most nearly sti uh, simulated those which we predict the individual these three astronauts include Deke Slayton, Wally Shura, and Alan B. Shepard. A reporter jokingly asked some of these astronauts, what were they going to do up in the space capsule while smoking cigarettes? Of course, that's probably not going to be a great idea due to health hazards and how small and cramped the area of the spacecraft. So these astronauts pretty much just said, well, I'll probably have to just give up for now. Smoking definitely did make its way to mission control, considering the high-stress and high-stakes environment that it was. Of course, smoking made its way to mission control. Gene once said the room smells of cigarettes with an overlay of pizza stale sandwiches, old waste baskets, and coffee that is burned onto hot plates. If you paid real close attention to a lot of Apollo footage, you can definitely see where the white ceiling has turned yellow over the years. Smokers in the Grunman factory, where they make the batteries for the Apollo missions, didn't really have a problem with having smoke around their electronics and it didn't seem to bother electronics back in the day as compared to modern day electronics where parts are really really small now and cigarette smoke uh, definitely affects those because they start kicking in those little little tiny wires and parts and this builds up the car which of course renders electronics obsolete. Of course, some astronauts definitely had to make some sacrifices if they wanted to go to the moon, such as Wally Shara for the Apollo 7 mission. He had to actually give up smoking or he wasn't going to fly the mission in 1968. So smoking definitely gave texture and context back in the vintage days of space, including the Apollo era, the Mercury, and of course the Gemini programs. If you would like to learn more about nostalgic materialistic things surrounding the vintage space area, don't forget to head over and check out some videos up here and definitely have some great topics for you. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys out on the launch pad.